Hey guys, what's up? My name is Namit and today our topic is how to log in using Firebase with your mobile phone, mobile number. Authenticating using your mobile number with Firebase. So guys, let's get started. I have just created this project Firebase login and we are done from here and open your Android Studio and just created a new project and we have nothing here just a internet permission and that's it then now open tools firebase this will open firebase assistant and from here click on authentication and this is the docs for firebase and from here click on connect to firebase it will gonna take some seconds so for now let me show you something these are the docs most apps needs to know the identify needs to identify the user knowing a user's identity mm. so it contains email and password authentication federal authentication using like google facebook twitter you can say social media login you can say phone number which we will be gonna do on in this tutorial and custom or system like suppose if you have some server and you want to create some hash key from there and do login in firebase from that server for that authentication token which you got from your server and this is like custom system so guys let's connect I'm gonna choose India connect to Firebase okay you can create a new project from that window and but I have already created this project that's why I choose the already created project so now it will gonna take some seconds because it is connecting to Firebase it will gonna add firebase libraries and that's it. that's all things and from here let me show you this thing this is setup signing like sign in method okay so we have email phone we will have to enable this so for now let let it download the firebase configuration and done we are like let me check Mm, yep we are done okay so now let's add firebase authentication accept changes this will gonna add these libraries this one and and this one and these these libraries mm, this one okay okay so let's control or change to latest version and sync now okay guys we are done from here now click on this phone and enable okay it will gonna tell you these things so click on Android and from here click on save okay so it's enabled and to authenticate using Firebase I'll put this link into description or you can get this link from here so just copy this code like let me tell you first you need to create project and sign in which we have already done and now this is our second process which just copy this method and open your project and also do this thing firebase app dot initialize this okay and from here paste this project import and plus nine one this is phone number 
Firebase will send OTP and you will have it will authenticate automatically. So let's do it and from here new callback. Okay. So let's add a number here. You should use a edit text for this. Just for simplicity, I'm using my phone number. Okay guys, this is my WhatsApp number. If you have some query, you can ask me. Just don't call me, just WhatsApp me. Okay, and this is documentation. And also add, add this thing into your field. Add some log, let's add some log here. Private final string tag login activity. So tag e e dot to string. So if something happens and our validation verification got failed, then we will get this log. Okay. And now sign in user. Go to this method and copy this method and paste it into your Android Studio and just check for okay. So you will have to create a auth. Okay, this one. Okay, and let's create it globally. Private. Okay, guys. I'm gonna use this method and let's import it here and this and your task okay so if you are logged in this code will run if you are logged out then this code if you fail this code will run okay so guys let's create new activity so suppose like home activity when user will sign out, then we will open this activity. When user will sign in, Oops. Okay, so from here, let's start the new activity. Start activity, new intent, and login activity. Dot this, and from here, let's call the home activity dot class. And also, if you want to print some user information, like we are getting user here, so let's so let's create it here. Let's print our log uid user dot get uid okay and let's call this method here sign in authentication and put authentication credential here okay so guys we are done and sorry for emulator because this is this will be a OTP based tutorial so I am using my mobile phone and you will hear some sound for now uh, let me run the project on my phone
and here, now you will see things here just is installing okay okay so guys check out this let me check out what happened let's check out if we created our user here or not look it created our user here and this is our uid okay but we didn't got the logs here what happened this is my user id and let me check okay look guys now we are successful and this code runs and our user got to home activity okay so guys that's it for now if you think this video is worth please share it like it uh, subscribe my channel and uh, thank you for your support thank you guys bye bye